how you doing? Welcome to a brand new episode of Gusto News, and we're right here in Gusto TV Africa. I'm still your own girl, your sweet girl, your baby boo boo Betty J. This is a new episode of Gusto News. This is a brand new week, a splendid one. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're keeping safe. Hope you're calm. Hope everything is going perfectly well with you because this week is gonna be bomb, gonna be sweet. I'm still your girl, Betty J, and this is Gusto TV Africa. And thanks for liking, thanks for sharing, thanks for commenting, thanks for co subscribing. Keep your notification on but on today's new got a whole lot to talk about we've got the petty doce and you know the islamic movement they've been talking some things concerning petty doce in short they actually threatened allegedly threatened in his life and he actually came out to talk about this matter because it's, it's getting out of hand and he can't take it you know he's getting old and according to him he said that everybody will die one day one that is truth and as death talk is going on and on also we've got someone celebrating a birthday and also we've got a whole lot of people dying we've got some people someone that died in nollywood industry and also we've got a whole lot of people talking about the nollywood industry things they do and comparing it with big brother ninja saying that there are some things they do in nollywood that they call the characters that do, that do such acts prostitute while comparing it with big brother ninja saying that if those characters the contestants rather in big brother ninja do same thing they would take them as idol kings queen and all that but you know what if i go straight to the news and give it the names of people talking about that and also to the person that actually died recently and it does a very sad news and a whole lot of things concerning the Nollywood industry. I'm still a girl, Elizabeth. If I spill out all the juice, all the sengemenge, all the sweet, sweet, and everything, I'm there for you. You have to sit back, calm down, and I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm still here yeah, with you. I'm still Betty J, your own girl, your sweetheart, your baby boo boo. Okay, there's a lady called Onye Alex. Yes, she's an actress in the Hollywood industry. She actually went against people talking about the act actors and actresses in the Hollywood industry, calling them prostitutes when they post to nude or do a particular uh, scene that actually have to make them go nude or kiss or romance and all that. That when people watch that scene, they start saying that oh, that guy is a prostitute, that, that she's to do real life, or oh, this, that, that's bad, that's this. But when you see your contestant in Big Brother Ninja kissing, romancing, doing all this, all this bad, bad thing that you know someone say we should not do, you know, when you do that, when you're small, your parents will say, Hey, if a man touch you, you get pregnant, all those things, they will do more than that. All those children that will do small, small things in Big Brother that. People, when they come out of the show, people will be praising them. Ah, oh, that is king. That's a queen. That is this. That it is really, really wrong. Going straight to the next news on Grand Pet Edoche. Yes, actor chief Pet Edoche took to social media platform to correct something that is going on the ground recently. Yes, the Islamic movement of Nigeria actually reported to the inspector of police saying that no. Peter Doche is doing something wrong that is affecting our religion. We will not take it. No, it is bad. Why will you, Peter Doche, be the person to act a particular role to actually slam us that is doing this, this, that? The that will not take it. Yes, Peter Doche came to his social media platform to make everything clear. Yes, he took the social media platform to explain the reason behind his attitude and him being quiet at first yes he said that this movie is not even yet out it's actually titled fertile arrogance and you guys should calm down wait till the movie is edited and when it's out you can start picking plain um, you can start picking blames you can start saying that oh, okay this is the particular attitude or is there a way that pit edoshe actually said this stuff that is wrong and all that he said that actually he's an actor he's a character he has a right to act any particular role is given that if, if he was given a particular role to act like the president of Nigeria he would do it because he is an actor that is not his fault for um he's not the one that wrote the movie he's not the one that produced it he's not the one that knows anything about it when he goes to a particular location all he does is just act his role and go home he does not know if there is a gun there or military men are doing this and all that but why would the Islamic movement of Nigeria tackling him in his life saying that eh, that it's Pete Edoche that produced the movie and is the one behind all those stuff that he said that he is not the one no, 
that the title of the movie is Fatal Arrogance and he's not the producer, neither is, it, is he the writer or the one that produced, um, pro actually provided amenities or like guns, um, tanks, fuel and all that to the people that acted the movie. No, it's just an, a character, an actor that came to act that movie that nobody should threaten his life and he's not going to run out of nigeria because of the islamic movement of nigeria he's going to sit back relax and watch how everything goes that when the islamic movement of nigeria finally watch the movie they can now start filing the case that he is not at fault okay guys moving on to the next gist on ground happy birthday to our princess patience ozoko yes if you know patience ozoko she has been in the limelight for a very long time since years back 1999 she started a movie um a movie role 1998 but she didn't you know she didn't blow people according to people she didn't you know she didn't know. She didn't come to you know. I'm not gonna say that in for people that I will say that pa patience Odoko is not a big mother. And then actually she was not, nobody knew her then. But she came to the limelight 1999 with the movie titled Authority, and everybody knew Patience Ozoko. Yes, there was a gist then that she didn't have children, she's this, she's that. Yes, but Patience Ozoko has kids, she has three biological children and five adopted children and she's a grandmother now she's doing perfectly fine and today's a birthday you guys stop spilling our rumors about her she is doing perfectly fine happy birthday to princess patience ozoko okay guys moving on to the next gist on grand prof are you akin died recently and it's a bad news because he's also a nollywood so yes if you have not watched movie titled show god is most more children and that are indomie generation those can sit back and relax but if you're talking about kaya generation sand generation okuta you know sway generation all those generations they've watched some shongo and they know the movie he actually acted in the movie also he acted in a movie titled the bridge and other movies he is a very very good actor and also a lecturer in the university of Illinois. he died recently i would pray that god will give his family fortitude to bear the loss and this won't happen to anyone that is young in their family and to us watching nothing bad will happen so okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed every news i just out of my mouth to you hope you enjoyed every news including the one that died and the one that is celebrating birthday and also you know the reason why pet edoshe kept kept silence concerning the islamic movement um their claims and all that okay guys keep subscribing keep sharing keep liking keep commenting and concerning the lady that said that uh actors are prostitutes and you know big brother ninja contestant are kings comment concerning that enjoy yourself be safe keep sharing keep liking and be safe